I've encountered so many businesses that believe they need to look and act like Disney in order to attract customers and keep them coming back. But in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can just act like you and keep them coming back. Who doesn't want to look and act like Disney? After all, Disney has set the standards for customer experience, customer care, customer satisfaction, customer service. They have it down to a science. In fact, they put on courses to teach other companies how to do it the Disney way. But here's the thing. Disney has been going at this a long time. They've been in business for over 65 years. They've got parks, they've got cruises, they've got resorts. They know how to do it. For most businesses, they're not there. They're not operating monstrous parks and media companies. They're not making billions of dollars in revenue and they don't have entire departments that they can dedicate to creating customer experiences and backing it up with great service. So what can you, a regular business of unknown size, because I don't really know you, but what can you do to create the kinds of experiences you need to building on the concept of Disney? Well, I'm going to share with you three right now and they're really easy and you can start doing them right away. Now, the first thing Disney does really well that you can do in your own business, regardless of industry, is to incorporate customer experience into the product. You see, with Disney, it doesn't matter whether you're going to a theme park, a resort, a cruise, whether you're signing up for Disney Plus or just going into a retail Disney store, the customer experience is part of the product. You're not just going on a ride or watching a movie or going on a cruise. It's all together from the minute you book your event or sign on or walk into the store. When you're dealing with people, whatever it is, they consider the experience to be equally as important as the product itself. That's something you can do. It's easy from the time people reach out to your company. How are they being greeted? How's the person on the phone? How easy is it for people to navigate through your website to find out what they need? All of these things can add to the customer experience. Number two is managing processes. You see, a lot of people, when they deal with Disney, if they've gone to a park or a cruise or resort and they've had a problem, the first thing they say is, Disney went above and beyond. They exceeded my expectations. They did everything they needed to do to make the situation right. But the fact is, Disney really didn't go above and beyond. They had all these processes documented and in place to deal with these problems. If your pass got lost, or if you misplaced something, or if you got the wrong room, or whatever problem you might encounter when dealing with Disney, they know about it and they know how to handle it and they even know who has the authority to make whatever decisions need to be made to fix the problem. And this is where a lot of businesses fall short is they don't have processes in place to deal with problems when they arise and no one in the management chain really feels that they have the authority to make a decision. So they push it up the chain hoping that the person above them will take on that responsibility. You don't have to do that. All you need to do is understand the most common types of problems customers have. And yes, your customers are going to have problems and likely the same ones arise again and again and empower staff at each level of the management from frontline workers all the way up to senior vice presidents and beyond if need be to be able to deal with these problems as they come up and turn big problems into small problems and ideally small problems into no problems. All it takes is planning and to understand the steps involved. That is something that Disney has mastered and so can you. And number three, which is my personal favorite, and these are three words that I use all the time when I speak, is to create an experience that is easy, convenient, and stress-free. And that's what Disney tries to do with everybody who enters their environment, who's having a good time. They know that things are going to sometimes go a little sideways, there's gonna be some issues, but if they can create an experience that is easy, convenient, and stress-free, that being the person, even if there's a problem, they don't have to stress out about it. They don't have to put in extra time or effort trying to take care of the situation, trying to adapt to it. Disney will move quickly to make sure that whatever negative situation occurs, it can be dealt with 
in an efficient and effective way. And this is something that any business can do. It's really just a matter of listening to your customers. And for the most part, if you say you're going to do something, if you say you're going to fix a situation or a problem, do it. Don't let it drag on because doing that causes stress and inconvenience for the customer. So there you go. Three things that Disney does really well that you can start doing for your business, your way to really start earning the loyalty of your customers. Keep them coming back and saying, wow, that was an incredible experience.